hi dear aquarius a very very good evening to you guys this is anjali taro and this is a general love reading for all the aquarius sun moon venus rising keep in mind this is general it might or might not resonate with you at the first place the second thing the roles can be reversed also third thing this is a you versus all the 12 signs reading so let's start let me see what your current energies are then i will see your uh, person's energy one by one towards you so it's just feelings not action nothing else it's just feelings okay so your current energies right now at this present moment is the knight of swords so you're just trying to run away from your own feelings your own emotions your uh, own problems related to love and rela relationship you are like let me run away as far as i can from these issues because they are giving me very hard time because in love i'm not that much lucky or in love i'm not that much good in handling my emotions so let me just run away from this because this thing is making more sense to me uh, like rather than facing the issue running away from the issue is making more sense to me so this is your current energies right now okay if you are dealing with an aries aries is obsessed with you they are like okay no matter how hard they are trying to let you go cut, cut this cord with you cut this energy with you they are not able to do it because they feel highly highly attached to you in a very very unhealthy manner so for some of you it could be possible there's a third party situation here still aries wants you in their life because they are very very obsessively thinking about you they can't let you go it's very unhealthy kind of attachment but they still want you taurus is feeling like the situation between you and them is over they are going towards a new chapter of their life they are feeling like a rebirth they are feeling like everything is changing around them after this breakup or separation after this uh like a uh, whole life trans uh, trans transition they are on to the next chapter of their life so i think taurus is growing spiritually because of this connection if you are dealing with a uh, gemini the fool card gemini is ready to take the leap of faith with you they are ready to take the risk here in the situation even though they feel like deep down they feel like might be this situation is never going to work out but they are ready to like uh, give it a shot give it a chance because they feel whatever will happen they will see whatever will happen so <laughs> it could be possible that they are fooling around like uh, they are just trying to make themselves uh, uh, like uh, feel that they don't feel anything about you but at the same time they feel like okay let's let's see let's see where things can go let's uh, take the risk here so somebody somebody who is a uh, gemini definitely feels like taking the risk with you and taking the leap of faith with you and going ahead with you and see where things can go even though things are not that much good So if you are dealing with a cancer cancer sees you as a wish fulfillment of them and they feel like you are very very happy about you whenever they think about you they feel very happy about the situation they consider you as a miracle from the universe they consider you as someone who really makes them happy inside out okay and they think that uh, whenever you are going to be with them whenever you guys are going to be together you guys are going to create a very happy and beautiful kind of bonding with each other okay So if you are dealing with a Leo Leo is thinking about having a brand new beginning with you they are constantly trying to listen to their intuition and their intuition is again and again guiding them to be with you to have a brand new chapter opening up with you for some of you it could be possible that Leo is new or newish in your life like uh, you met you met them like maximum 2 3 months ago and you are just uh, on the like verge of knowing each other better but Leo is definitely in this energy of having something solid with you having some having a brand new beginning with you and carrying forward this energy of we can see where things can go but let me start first let me have a connection first virgo is like feeling like even though things have ended between you guys they feel like there is some kind of unfinished business in the situation one cycle have completed in the situation completely you guys are done with one cycle one brand one like a uh, grand chapter in the situation but they but they still feel there is unfinished business between you guys so i think uh, virgo will come back around if they are not connected with you anymore or they will definitely try to finish the unfinished business finish the chapter properly with you to go ahead so closure issues might might be communication issue issues might be or uh, the issue of uh, not able to move on because something here is not correct okay that i'm uh, getting from a virgo side if you are dealing with a libra libra thinks like taking things really very very slow slow to the extent that you might feel like libra is no more in your life or they are not interested in you or they don't want anything uh, like uh, anything any kind of relationship with you but all libra is trying to do here is to create a solid base 
take it like one day at a time and see where things can go in the future if it is meant to be it will like sustain if it is not it will just uh, dissolve so that is why libra is just wanting a lot of time and lot of energy and they want to take things really very very slow if you are dealing with the scorpio here scorpio wants to have fun with you scorpio wants to flirt around with you and have good uh, like a uh, lovely lovely kind of lovely lovely kind of energy with you they don't want to make it serious they don't want to ruin it with the uh, uh creating any kind of you know uh force forceful energies or creating any kind of this stressful kind of energies in the situation they want to take you as a friend kind of energy only and flirt around and have fun kind of energy with you light hearted kind of energy with you it could be possible that uh, a scorpio is a new person in your life or newish kind of person in your life and they want to just keep it light hearted and beautiful keep it going kind of energy if uh, you are dealing with a sagittarius here Sagittarius is constantly thinking about you. Twenty four into seven, they are thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about you and about the situation. But at the same time, they are not able to understand why they are being very negative about the situation. What can they do about the situation? According to them, you are also thinking negative about them. According to them, you are also uh, going through a lot of negative energy, negativity regarding the situation. And even if they are trying to think positive, they can't possibly think positive. According to them, this is the situation that's going on. okay if you are dealing with uh we have we were with sagittarius if you are dealing with a capricorn king of pentacles capricorn is trying to create a very solid mature grounded and practical kind of energy in the situation they want to come towards you with a very solid opportunity where both of you can create a very beautiful home together a very beautiful uh, future together they want to see you in this energy of yes you are the one person with whom i can spend the rest of my the life with you give me a very solid kind of energy very committed kind of energy so let's go ahead that kind of energy i'm picking from a capricorn side if you are dealing with another aquarius here two of swords another aquarius is very much in uh, like up in the air kind of situation they are not able to understand where you guys stand in this connection uh, they are not sure where things are going in the situation right they are in this energy of okay uh, should i move on should i wait for aquarius should i just uh, uh, go ahead with my life should i just uh, what should i do they are on the cross roads they are not able to make up their mind for whatever reason and they are uh, like having this uh, up in the air kind of situation between you and them if you are dealing with the pisces four of swords pisces is trying to heal the situation they are trying to give it time and space and they might be trying to give time and space to you as well so that you can also heal individually but pisces definitely wants to go to, uh, like uh, in the healing mode right now in this uh, healing process right now because for whatever reason they are very very hurt and they need uh, they, they need a lot of time and space to to be back to normal in the situation this is what they are up to so yeah this is uh, your reading for all the 12 signs hope you like it if you like it let me know in the comment section so that we can keep it going thank you so much god bless you namaste